The Ugly Duckling. Based on the original tale by Hans Christian Andersen. The wheat fields were golden, the oats green, and the hay stood in great stacks in the green meadows. In a sunny spot stood a pleasant old farmhouse, circled with deep canals. Great bushes grew at the edge of a small lake, and in this snug retreat sat a duck upon her nest, waiting for her young brood to hatch. At length, one shell cracked, and soon another, and another, and from each emerged a beautiful yellow little duckling. How proud Mother Duck was! But the biggest egg had yet to hatch. I think I'll sit a little while longer, she said, looking at the big gray egg. One day passed, then another, and another. At last, the great egg broke, and a strange duckling appeared. It was big and gray, and so different from the others. Oh my! What an ugly baby this is! But never mind. I'll love it no matter what. Soon, it was time for the first swim, and Mother Duck pushed the little ducklings to the water. The weather was delightful, and the sun shone brightly on the green burdock leaves. Quack, quack! She cried. And one after the other, the little ducklings jumped into the water. The ugly duckling was last in the row. What a strange sight he was! The water closed over their heads, but they came up again in an instant and swam about quite prettily, their legs paddling with great ease. And now to the barnyard, quacked Mother Duck. What a noisy place it was with all the clucking, honking, mooing, and barking. All the animals stopped to look at the strange duckling. How ugly! They clucked, honked, mooed, and barked. We don't want him here. An old duck flew out and bit the poor gray duckling in the neck. Leave him alone! cried Mother Duck. Why? He is big and ugly, a perfect fright, said the spiteful duck. He may not be pretty now, but he is kind and well behaved. Poor duckling, there was no rest for him on the farm. The ducks pecked him, the chickens beat him. And even his siblings were unkind to him. One day, the duckling ran away till he reached a large moor. Here he spent the night. In the morning, wild geese rose in the air and saw him fast asleep. You are exceedingly ugly, they said. But it doesn't matter as long as you don't try to join our flock. The poor duckling didn't want to join their flock. All he wanted was to lie among the rushes and drink some water from the moor. Bang! Bang! A loud noise sounded in the air, and the wild geese rose from the rushes and flew away. The sound came from every direction. And the duckling hid his head under his wing when a large, terrible dog passed near him. His jaws were open, and his eyes glared fearfully as he thrust his nose close to the duckling, showing his sharp teeth. The little duckling lay still while the shots rattled through the rushes. It was late in the day before all went quiet again. 
But even then, the poor duckling did not dare to move. He waited quietly for hours and then hastened away from the moor just as a heavy storm arose, and he could hardly struggle against it. At length, he reached a little cottage that seemed ready to fall. A woman lived there with a cat and a hen, but the cat was her favorite. He could raise his back, purr, and even throw out sparks from his fur if stroked the wrong way. The next morning, the cat meowed, and the hen clucked as they noticed the strange visitor. What a prize! said the old woman, thinking that it was a fat duck. I shall have some fine duck eggs to eat. But weeks passed, and there were no eggs. The cat and the hen hated the duckling. He can't lay eggs, they would say to each other. He is good for nothing, and so ugly. Outside, it was always raining, and the duckling would spend his days sitting by the window, feeling lonely and sad. But one day, he finally awoke to the most glorious sunshine. Where are you going? asked the hen. But he did not listen to her. He left the cottage and went back to the lake. How he swam and dived! But even here, the animals avoided him because he looked so ugly. Autumn came and the leaves in the forest turned orange and gold. Then, as winter approached, the wind caught them and whirled them into the cold air. The clouds, heavy with hail and snowflakes, hung low in the sky, and Raven stood among the reeds crying. One day, a large flock of beautiful birds flew over the pale sky. They were swans. How they curved their graceful necks, and how their soft plumage shone with dazzling whiteness. The swans uttered a singular cry, spread their glorious wings, and flew away to warmer countries. And as he watched them, the little duckling had a strange feeling. He stretched out his neck and uttered a cry so strange that he was overcome with fear. Then he dived under the water and rose again, almost beside himself with excitement. He didn't know the swans, but felt strangely drawn to them. The weather turned bitter and cold, and the lake began to freeze. There was very little food for the duckling to eat. The ice in the water crackled as he moved, and the duckling had to paddle with his legs to keep the ice from closing up around him. He became exhausted and lay still and helpless, frozen in the ice. Early next morning, a peasant found him. He broke the ice and carried the poor duckling home. The warmth revived him, but when the children wanted to play, the duckling got scared. He fluttered around wildly till he fled back outside in the cold snow. The winter was very harsh but somehow the duckling stayed alive through the long, gloomy days and dark, freezing nights. Day by day, the sun grew warmer till it was spring again. His wings were now strong, and the duckling yearned to fly. One day, he flapped them against his sides and rose high into the air. They bore him onwards until he found himself flying above a large garden. 
The apple trees were in full blossom, and the fragrant elders bent their long branches down to the stream. Three beautiful swans were swimming lightly over the smooth water. If I fly to them, thought the duckling, feeling sad, they'll send me away because I am ugly. But then, I've been pecked by ducks, beaten by hens, and starved with hunger in the harsh winter. The duckling flew down to the water and swam towards the beautiful swans. The moment they saw him, they rushed to meet him with outstretched wings. Just then, the poor bird bent his head and saw his reflection in the water. He was no longer an ugly duckling. He was a beautiful swan. The great swans swam around him and stroked his neck with their beaks to greet him. Into the garden came a group of little children. Look, a new swan, cried the youngest. And he's so beautiful. The young swan felt quite shy and hid his head under his wing. For too long, he had been despised for his ugliness. At last, he rustled his feathers, curved his slender neck, and let the happiness spread across his poor heart. The End <laughs>